Hey, hey, we got a trendy one here. Frappe. Hey, what is up, Coffee Nation? We got the first ever coffee review of, uh, well, you know I don't review Starbucks coffee, Coffee Nation, but I had to try this one. Pistachio Frapp. Um, yeah, I mean, I saw it on a menu recently when I was picking up some of their premium Starbucks water, and uh, I was intrigued, but I'm not a frap person. Uh, I don't even think I've had a frap before. This would be the first. And what could I say? Pistachio and coffee, classic flavor combo. You got the uh, Italian coffee and the Italian pistachios. It should be, like, very desserty, but... Uh, yeah, this thing cost me five bucks, Coffee Nation. Not as green as it looks on the uh, menu. It looked really green on the menu. I wish I took a picture, but then they handed me this brown ass coffee drink. Now let's try it and see. Mm. You do get some nuttiness, Coffee Nation. It's sweet, kind of toasty, like a nice dessert almost but then again that might just be the frap because i'm not accustomed to drinking them and i hate sweet coffee but this one not too sweet it's mild and nutty and yeah warm it's not as pistachio-y as i would like but uh overall it's pretty good coffee nation Ugh. and then i just spilt my other coffee on my crotch in and out. It is good coffee, Coffee Nation. Hot coffee. Ugh. But overall, I would say it was definitely worth a try. And kind of inaugural, first ever coffee frappe review. I'm not going to make this a regular thing, but, uh, yeah. Alright, well, overall, pretty interesting. Uh, definitely try it for yourself, and like always, stay coffee. Ugh, I got like two sips out of this thing. Now it's just ice. It's like flavorless ice. Man, I can't believe people drink this every day. I mean, I would buy that for a dollar. How much was it? Five dollars?